project daddy was raised in the church. I went to church three times a week. I'd sit out there in the pew and I'd look at the pastor and the pastor would read from the Bible. And as the pastor read from the Bible, he would tell me stories about a man who talked to God. And as I sat there and I listened to the pastor tell me about a man who talked to God, I had one question. Why am I listening to another man tell me about a man who talked to God? Project Daddy wants to talk to God. The greatest American alive. Please don't take that as blasphemy. I think, as you should, that I want to go directly to the source. I want to talk to freedom directly. I want to talk to my creator directly. I don't need no middleman. I don't need no Joel Osteen. I don't need no Kanye West. My realization was that if God can talk to Abraham, if God can talk to Noah, then God can talk to you, the greatest American alive. He's listening. The greatest American alive. The last thing that you, the greatest American alive, the last thing that you need is more misinformation. Kanye West is one of the greatest artists of all time. He makes amazing music. His rhetoric is phenomenal. He is very entertaining, but I am not here to entertain you. You, the greatest American alive, you don't need more entertainment. You need more enlightenment. You need more enrichment. You need to know that you don't need to have a billion dollars to be free. All you have to do is tell anybody, your employer, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever is around you, you cannot exploit me. You cannot use my energy against me. I will not conform to your idea of who you think I'm supposed to be. There is no institution that can own the American citizen. You are a free person. The almighty creator looked down and smiled upon you and said, you is free. You don't ever have to worry about a piece of paper controlling you. A contract is a piece of paper and you are a living, breathing organism. You are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. As millions of people watch the Kanye West interview, you need to look at a free person telling you that it's important for you to get free. But you can't get billionaire free, and you don't need a billion dollars to get free. You need to have the self-esteem, the self-confidence, and the self-determination to say that you will not take advantage of me. Your school, your job, the United States government, you tell these people that you cannot take advantage of the greatest American alive. Project Daddy does not practice resistance. I'm listening, and I'm learning. And so when Kanye West makes statements about having $9 billion, that means to me that there is power in numbers. And if there's power in 9 billion sheets of paper, then oh my goodness, how much power do you think 7.7 billion people have? And if you want to talk about just the United States of America, if you, the greatest American alive, just want to talk about the United States of America, then there are 330 million pieces of power. It's time to get some power. It's time to tell the truth. And when every American citizen tells their economic truth, when every American citizen talks about their economic truth, then all of a sudden we can be united in the fact that we're about to come get this money okay numbers matter because they are a representation of power Kanye West says he has nine billion dollars if you go back to 2008 when we had the bailouts for the banks we gave them 12 trillion dollars all I want the American citizen to do is to quantify their value if you are a prisoner in the United States of America the value of you is $31,500 a year and that's on average what is your value do you know can you quantify yourself man you better know your worth Everyone else is adding a dollar sign to their worth and we're asking for ancillary things. Oh, give me food stamps. Oh, give me housing. I'll take some health care. I don't need no daddy nanny to try to govern me. I'm a free person, man. Give me what's rightfully mine. Give me my money. (laughs) Give me my money. I want what's rightfully mine. That's all. Every institution has an agenda, and they won't tell you what their agenda is. They will use any topic to be divisive, and Project Daddy's not here to be divisive. Project Daddy is here to be united. That's the only thing that we need to do is be united. In this interview that Kanye West did with the Drink Champs, he talks about his wife. You know what? That's what unites us all. This man has $9 billion, and guess what? He has relationship problems. Just like you and I have relationship problems, we go through these things on a daily basis. Life is a collaborative effort, and working with someone is very difficult, especially if they have their own ideology. If we don't know our worth and our value, then we won't negotiate the right way. We won't have a conversation the right way. We'll always be taken advantage of because we don't know what we're worth. You do not need a piece of paper to be free. You own yourself in the physical realm, the digital realm, and the spiritual realm unto perpetuity. And that means forever. And if you want to use any part of me, you have to negotiate with me. You have to have a conversation with me. And if at any time I find that you've been using my information, my likeness in the digital, spiritual, or physical realm, then we're going to have a problem. I'm going to have to quarrel with you. The greatest American alive. The greatest tool of freedom is your voice. You can use your mouth to declare your value at any time of the day. You don't have to wait for a piece of paper. You don't need a leader. You can lead yourself by understanding your worth. 
self-determination will take you wherever you want to go. Project Daddy has been to the bottom of every institution, all the whole school system, the military, the prison industrial complex. I've seen it. I've worked in your factories. I've been in your industries. I know what this thing is made of. You have a dollar sign attached to me. Every time I go clock in to a job, they know that they're going to make twice as much money off of my labor than I'm going to make. They already have it calculated. I'd like you to think about this for just a second. If as we walked out of here today, I said, I would like to buy 10% of your financial future. I was going to write you a check today. And from this day forth, you were going to give me 10% of everything you earn. Uh, how much would you want to charge me for that? I'm going to buy one tenth of you. And uh, I may take the low bid, incidentally. So be careful what you uh, <laughs> write down. Well, I think if you thought about that a little while, as you contemplate that for a few minutes, you know, you're going to get a check from me today and you can do anything you want with the money. But from this day forth, you have to give me 10% of what you earn. I think it would be very foolish of you, any of you, if you asked for less than, say, $50,000. Now, it's going to be a few years before you're out earning money, and so I've got a few years of dead money there. But then I would start getting this royalty on you as you went along. So I really think that if you thought about it, you'd, you'd, most of you would want a fair amount more than that, and I think you'd be right. Uh, fortunately, I didn't make this deal with anybody when I started out, so nobody's got a 10% royalty on me. But uh, I think that 50000 would sort of be the absolute minimum. And if you think about that, that means that right today, you are worth 500000 because if 10% of you is worth 50000 in cash today, your potential is worth a minimum on a 100% basis of $500,000. That is the big financial asset you've got. It's way more important what you do with that $500,000 asset that you own today than whether you decide to buy stocks or bonds or whether you put your money in a mutual fund or pick your own stocks or anything of that sort. The biggest financial asset that you have going for you by miles is the value of your own earning power over the years. So that's really what you should focus on. If you're focusing on your financial fo future, that means you should focus on you. I want to negotiate my value with every entity that wants to do business with me. With every organization that wants to talk to me, if you want me to go to your school, I need to negotiate what my worth is. If you want me to work in your company, I need to negotiate what my worth is. If you want me to attend your church, I need to negotiate what my worth is. If I'm giving 10% or more to your institution, then I need a whole lot more than pay and go away. I'm not just going to give you some money and be quiet. That's not happening anymore. If it's up, then it's up. Kanye West said it's up. When he says it's up, it means it's time to fight for freedom. And you can only fight for freedom in your economic bracket, okay? You can only fight for freedom in your economic bracket. There is a class war on the poor, and ain't nobody fighting back. The poor people are not fighting back. As brilliant as Kanye West is, how can he possibly relate to your life? How can he possibly relate to you being hungry or you not having the ability to feed your children? I know that he goes through his own struggles with his family, but his struggles aren't about paying his rent or feeding his children or how you're going to fix your car so you can get to work tomorrow. He's not going through these things. And so until we recognize that we're in a class war, then we're going to continue to be poor, economically challenged people in America. Kanye West is a brilliant artist, and I appreciate him trying to extend a helping hand to the working class and poor people. There is a class war on the poor, and poor people need to work together to fight back. I don't mind the assistance of billionaires and millionaires. That's cool. But they're going to protect their interests, and they're going to use legislation. We need to tell the truth to get some power. Lawyers are the most powerful people on the planet. The most powerful political organization on the planet is the Bar Association. No matter what a politician says, if they are a lawyer, they are a lawyer first. Poor and working class people have to work together. There has to be a collaborative effort for us to obtain actual freedom. And freedom looks different for everyone. Kanye West needs $9 billion to be free. You don't need $9 billion to be free. Tell the truth and get some power. You own your physical self, your digital self, and your spiritual self into perpetuity. And that means forever. No matter what a piece of paper says, can't nobody own you. You was a free person. I don't care what a document says. The power is always going to be within the people. And America has 330 million pieces of power amazing powerful individuals they're like stars from the sky there are more stars in the sky than there are people on the planet and if scarcity determines value then that makes you the greatest american life one of the most scarcest things in the whole universe you're special so i don't need no billionaire to declare my worth i declare my worth the greatest american alive declares their freedom the greatest american alive
I own my physical self, my digital self, and my spiritual self in the perpetuity. And there ain't nothing you can do or say or no piece of paper that can take my freedom away. I is free. I am free. Do you understand? And that goes to Kanye West, to Jeff Bezos, to every billionaire on the planet. You can't buy me. I am not for sale. I will use the products in which you make as tools, and that's it. The American people set the rules, but we have to have honest conversations. Right now, we have the most powerful tools on the planet. Facebook, Instagram, whatever your social media choice is, TikTok, these algorithms, they're working overtime to try to control you. There's a woman who wrote a book called Weapons of Math Destruction, and she talks about how the algorithm is destroying the American person. And the only way you fight back is to understand that I can use this tool for myself, too. This, this regime of, of this opaque algorithm value-added model has been very, very bad. And I think something that's especially insidious about this, so, you know, we talk about algorithms and they can sound very kind of like techie and foreign and things that we don't interact with, but a lot of the, the algorithms that we're talking about here that we both work on have tons of similarities, sometimes are identical underneath to the algorithms like on Netflix that recommend shows for you or on Amazon that recommend books for you to buy. And if you think about that, we totally know how to handle those, right? Amazon's like, most of the time it's super boring and not insightful, right? Like you bought a Stephen King book and it's like, how about these other Stephen King books? And it's like, you're right, but not helpful, right? And sometimes it's totally wrong and you just go like, where did this come from? And then sometimes you get these beautiful glimmers of insight, right? So I bought the zombie survival guide and then it recommended I buy this hand axe with like an 18 inch knife that pulls out of the handle. Like I never would have thought of that. That was a great insight. But you know, you don't just buy everything Amazon recommends. You don't watch every show that Netflix says to watch. But the algorithms that you're talking about, people don't treat them as one point in a human decision making process. They treat them as like this oracle of truth even when they're poorly validated, even when the people using them don't understand them. And that makes them a lot more destructive because you override all of our great human intuition with this little bit of math. I ain't gotta give the algorithm nothing to play with. I can give the algorithm very specific information. Right now there's an economic battle in America and they're trying to siphon all the money from the poor to the very tippity top of America. Billionaires want your very last dollar. Kanye West and the Donda brand, they want your very last dollar, Nike, Whatever the brand is, whatever company you support, all they want is your money. They're going to make commercials so they can try to control you. And I'm trying to tell you that you have to fight the control. Project Daddy is telling you the only way that you can gain control of your life is to tell these people, I don't want your shit. I don't want your Instagram. I don't want your product. And if I do use it, it's because, you know, it's convenient. But if I depend on it, if my life depends on me wearing Nikes every day, if my life depends on me wearing Yeezys every day, then I'm giving these people power over me. I'm giving them the control. If I don't want you, the greatest American alive, to give your power away to anyone. Claim your power. Tell the truth and get some power. I own my physical self, my digital self, and my spiritual self into perpetuity. And I don't care what your piece of paper says. You're not going to turn me into a slave. It's against creation. It's against my creator. It's against God Almighty for me to try to sell myself or negotiate myself. The greatest American alive. Right now in America, there is nothing more important than healthy relationships. Go to your loved ones and you look them square in their eyes and you tell them, I love you. Put your arms around them, hug them, kiss them on their cheek. Whatever it is you need to do, let the people that you know around you, let them know that you love them. Support them and tell them what their worth is. To live gratitude is to touch heaven. So whenever you see someone that you love, one of your friends or family, put your arms around them and hug. Tell them how thankful you are for them. Tell them how much they mean to you. You give them some self-confidence and some self-determination. Look them square in the eyes and you tell them they own their physical self, their digital self, and their spiritual self into perpetuity. Tell the people that you love no one can ever own them and that they are valuable because there's not another one of them on the whole entire planet. They are Kanye West. They are Jeff Bezos. They... They just ain't got $9 billion. You hear me? <laughs> they just don't have $9 billion. They just don't have $100 billion. There's not enough money in the whole entire world that can buy you. You're the most valuable thing that the world has ever seen. Your mama looked at you and your daddy looked at you and they smiled at you. I don't care if life is hard. Sometimes people make bad decisions, but when people make bad decisions, that doesn't take away how valuable you are. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.